Stepidopioidic Research Corporation, ERC, is a Belgian pharmaceutical company developing ERC-1671, brand names, Gliovac, Cytoaganap, EU, a treatment for glioblastoma multiforme, the most aggressive form of brain cancer. In 2019, ERC became the first pharmaceutical company to provide treatment under the U.S. federal right to try law. The genesis of ERC-1671 occurred when Apostolos Stathopoulos was a neurosurgery student at the University of Liege. While observing an operation, a piece of a patient's tumor hit his eye. This event provoked Stathopoulos to reflection into the evidence that his body's immune system would destroy the cancer cells. Stathopoulos conducts a proof-of-concept study on rats. The study finds that the combination of syngenic and allogenic glioma cells injected into rats with growing tumors reduced the size and even eradicate them of the existing tumors and prevented the formation of new tumors. Stathopoulos patents the technique and founds ERC to develop the treatment for humans. ERC obtains advanced medical therapy product status for Gliovac ERC 1671 from the European Medicines Agency. It creates a tissue bank for proliferative tumors and a good manufacturing practice comply and production facility in Shake, Netherlands. Glyobalc obtains orphan drug status from the US FDA. Glioblastoma multiforme is the most common and deadly brain tumor in adults, but only affects 10,000 to 17,000 people in the US. By definition, an orphan disease affects under 200,000 people in the USA. First patients are treated with Gliovac ERC 1671 under a doctrine of compassionate use. In September, the first patient reached total remission. Phase 2 trials of Gliovac ERC 1671 begins in partnership with the University of California, Irvine. Interim Phase 2 trial results show that patients treated with Gliovac ERC 1671 in the commonly prescribed anti cancer drug Bevacizumab, Ativan, survived almost five months longer on average than those treated with bevacizumab alone. At the request of a patient, Gliovac ERC 1671 is the first medication prescribed under U.S. federal right to try laws passed by the Trump administration. Despite being prescribed under federal law, the treatment follows the protocols of California state right to try laws. ERC makes Gliovac available at free or reduced cost for right to try patients. ERC submits a European Medicines Agency marketing application authorization for ERC 1671 under the brand name Cytoaganap. A second trial site opens at Harvard's Dana-Farber Center for Immuno-Oncology. ERC begins development of a COVID-19 vaccine called COVIDVAC based on Gliovac technology. Apostolos Stathopoulos, co-founder, CEO, is an MD-PhD neurosurgeon trained in Belgium. He is Chief of Neurosurgery Service at the Henriatuna Hospital in Athens, Greece, visiting professor at the Department of Cell Biology and Immunology of Wageningen University and adjunct associate professor of neurological surgery at the Keck School of Medicine of the University of Southern California. He serves as co-director of International Immunotherapy Cancer Center. For pioneering treatment under U.S. federal right to try laws, Stathopoulos was named Humanitarian of the Year by the Abigail Alliance. Thomas Chin, Co-founder, CMO, is an MD-PhD neurosurgeon and professor at the University of Southern California. He is one of the few fellowship-trained spinal surgeons focused on spine cancer. Doc Virgil Shims, PhD, Chief Scientific Officer, is the registered qualified person for Gliovac slash ERC 1671 in the EU. Doc Joe Elliott is the head of ERC USA. ERC's US subsidiary. Vince Dell, co-founder ERC USA and CFO. ER. Bernard Aliam, co-founder and CAO. Bernard Quester, vice president. Cytoaganap, EU, slash Gliovac slash ERC 1671 is an immunotherapy vaccine that trains the body's immune system to attack a glioblastoma, brain tumor, using cells taken from the patient's own tumor, along with tumor cells from three other donors. Unlike most vaccines, it is only given to patients who have already developed the disease, rather than prophylactically. By receiving tumor cells from different people, the patient's immune system is exposed to several different tumor-associated antigens, TAA, or proteins, minimizing the chance the tumor cells might escape from the body's defenses. It also is believed this approach will trigger a stronger cytotoxic T-lymphocyte, CTL, or a cell-killing T-cell, 
response against the TAA on the patient's tumor. In the first group of nine patients treated under the Compassionate Use Doctrine, 100% survived for six months compared to only 33% in the control group. At 10 months, 77% survived, compared to 10% in the control group. ERC-1671 is currently in Phase 2 trials in the U.S., as well as being available under Compassionate Use Protocols and Right to Try laws. According to the Innovation Observatory of the UK's National Health Service, the key principle underlying this particular vaccination approach is the use of a broad set of tumor antigens, derived from freshly resected whole tumor tissue, not only from the patient under treatment, but expanded to include the same from three independent GBM tissue donors. This multivalent array of autologous and allogeneic antigens is expected to reduce the chance of immune escape, which can emerge from antigenic loss or active major histocompatibility complex, MHC, downregulation and is more likely to occur when using a single or limited antigen-targeted immunotherapy. The future promise of this treatment might also rest in the ability to combine it with bevacizumab and potentially with immune checkpoint inhibitors an option that will allow more powerful immune activation in the periphery as well as more aggressive local tumor immunological targeting and destruction. In April 2020, ERC began development on COVIDVAC, a vaccine for COVID-19 based on ERC's 1671S underlying technology. References